Hello baseball fans and welcome to the latest baseball adventures of El Tipo. El Tipo here and today I'm at my first Marlin game of the season. Spring training but I still count and I, I, I like baseball. I really really like baseball so woke up this morning hopped in the car and drove the two hours from Orlando to Jupiter just so I can go to Roger Dean Stadium and catch the Miami Marlins play a spring training game. Yeah, that's what I did. Yes, that's exactly what I did. So I'm gonna head over to the Dean and see what's going on this year. All right, I think of all the times I've been here and filmed stuff for you, I've never shown you the guys the inside. Most of the time it's mostly of my face. So today would be the first version of Vision of El Tipo at Roger Dean. As you can see, I know I'm a little quiet and hopefully the mic's picking up a lot better because this place isn't a hustle and bustle of normal spring training. It's in Jupiter. When you think of Jupiter as me and Dan, you know, the other Dan, not Dan Dunn, Dan, Yankee Dan, have said that Jupiter's a very calm and relaxed town. People come here, see the Cardinals play, the Marlins play, the Hammerheads play, and even the Palm Beach Cardinals. It's a very subdued area, calm and quiet. And as you guys can see over there, there's Mr. Dunn. And the stadium shows that. I mean, it's a very relaxing area. It's very quiet. It's not as loud as most places. Oh, Dan's mom's wearing a twin shirt. Oh, we gonna give him heck about that one. But yeah, I mean, you even have the beautiful lineups as soon as you walk into the stadium. It's a very colorful, well, pastel. Can we go with pastel? Pastel sounds even better. Stadium, and it's very nice. They have a team store. It's all good. Fun, the seats are great. So, I mean, batting practice is still going on. I'm getting kind of hungry, so I might go get something to eat, but you know, not bad. Typical open stadium, spring training, minor league baseball in Florida. Nothing out there too much, but you know how it is. I think you guys have seen enough of these shows to know that they're pretty much the same. It's not as updated as Lakeland, but I still love this stadium and I still love Roger Dean and I'm gonna have to do a lot to get to the level that Lakeland was at. All right, as many times as I make it to the Dean, I always find something new. I mean, I'm sitting here enjoying the standing room only, lovely tables, catching some batting practice and it looks really fun, but you know, it's a little early. Okay, it's pretty early, but I'm getting kind of hungry. That two hour drive is not fun. So I found a new food I've never seen before. If it's been here, I've kind of missed it every time because I always go for the Cuban sandwich, which apparently isn't here this year, or the steak tacos or all kinds of other stuff. Or I'm over at the cool zone for the Marlin Fan Fest get together. So I thought today, let me go explore a little bit. You'll see the exploration. And I found, Look, look, you know, you need to look at this because this thing is interesting. It's called a Miami dog. Now, what the Miami dog has is pork and salsa and black beans and it's just a big old hot dog mess. And I, I, I guess I just gotta dive in. I mean, they offered me a knife and a fork, but who eats a hot dog with a knife and a fork? Mm. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, the sunny season pork is really good. The black beans does remind me a little bit of Miami because when everything's of Miami, you think Hispanic. When everyone thinks of Hispanic, they think rice and beans. You know what, that would be good if you put a little rice in this too. And then the salsa, the corn, mm, the green onions, all pretty, I need another bite. This is actually pretty good. Mm. 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 I always forget the napkins. I need to remember to bring napkins next time. But when you get a hot dog at a ballpark, you need a drink with the hot dog. So of course, mm. it's five o'clock somewhere, right? I mean, game hasn't started, so it's before one o'clock. Do not judge me. So I got Summer Love Ale, look at that. It looks just delicious. A victory beer. I mean, I've had victory beer before in the past. It's all been pretty good, except they're darker beers. You guys know me, I'm not a big fan of dark beer. You guys saw the past episodes where I literally cried for drinking a dark beer, but I've never had a Summer Love. So, 
You know what? They are right. It is the flavor of the season. This is the type of beer that I would have when I go camping or to a baseball game, outdoors, fishing, all kinds of things. This is, this is the type of flavor that you would want. Mm. Ah, well, let me finish my meal, finish my beer, and keep looking around the park. An MLB roster. Uh, I enjoy coming here and hopefully just Greg sitting Napo here. Hopefully Greg Napo gets the pitch. Yeah, hopefully he does Greg Napo. That's what, what, as Dan so eloquently heard, you can see Mr. Dunn. Right, 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 right there. There's Dunn. There's Dunn. There he is. But yeah, I mean, we're nine rows back of the twin side. I blame you. That's all right. Yeah, it's all good. I had standing room seats. I was going to be over there, so. Go we're we're going to throw peanuts at the player. <laughs> there you go, but. Again, such a beautiful stadium. Well, that's because the Marlins have home of the All-Star Game, which I can't wait to go see that this year and have the Baseball Adventures of El Tipo coming from Marlin Park's All-Star Game. I'm never going to run out of things to do at Marlin Park, am I? No. Uh, but, yeah, beautiful field. You can see batting practice is over. They're just matting down the dirt, getting it ready to see the Marlins versus the Twins because we're on the in pretty powder. twin side. They're sprinkling in pretty powder at the batter's box. And I got a net in front of me, so there's no point of bringing my glove. Well, it could still come above us, Andy. Uh, see, we said that in, Minis in Lakeland and nothing. Nothing. And I noticed that the net's gone further. Amen. The net went all the way down to the dugouts here, too. I got a sloopy, droopy. Yeah. That kind of takes away. Out that angle. Kind of takes away from the game. Oh, so I'm going to continue walking around a little bit. You and here is one of the best sights of spring training. Fans watching players warm up, being up close and personal with them, waiting for the autographs. I've already seen, you know, Echeverria sign, Ozuna stop, Derek stop, all these loving fans getting signatures. I mean, if there's a player you're missing, the best opportunity to probably get a signature is right here at spring training. So even like Minnesota Twin players stopped and signed some autographs. So it was really nice of them. They didn't have to, but. Spring training. What else do you get at spring training besides warming up and getting back into baseball shape, Dan? Signatures. Autographs. Autographs. There you go. Autographs. Oh. oh, they're about saying the lineup, so we're going to head back to our seats and enjoy the game. I'll see you guys there. So we're about 10 minutes out from the first pitch. Went and got some signatures. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Donnie baseball. Donnie baseball. Donnie baseball. So we're gonna sit here, enjoy the game. I brought my glove even though I don't think I need it because of that net. Unless it's a high, high, high foul ball, but you're probably gonna elbow me and catch it anyway, so. Usually do. Yeah, I usually do so. I mean, this is just trip one of today, so stay tuned later and check out what we're doing later tonight. Until next time, let's go Marlins. Let's go fish.